This will include some head caps, mushroom caps and stuff. So that the mushrooms are going to feed on that. We have the calcium carbonate, which is going to adjust the pH, uh, make it more alkaline. We have the magnesium um, sulfate, aka Epsom salt, which is a common soil amendment. Most soils are somewhat deficient in that. Um, we have the zinc sulfate, which is not that good to add to soil because it tends to bind up in soils and not be so available to the plant. It's better to spray as a foliar spray when you have malformed leaves and fruits, um, but which signifies a zinc deficiency. But since we have it and we're making this, we might as well throw some in because it's not like it's going to have a net drain or anything. Um, and then we have water, and then the water is going to make it all liquid and allow us to mix it. Once we throw everything in there and the water, we're going to mix it all with a shovel. And then about twice a day, someone's got to mix it. So I recommend we leave a big stick next to here that's big enough that you can go in there and kind of mix it around in the water. The mixing it is to help it stay somewhat aerated. It's better to aerate it with like a fish tank pump or something, but we don't have access to those luxuries. I should mention there are a lot of better ways, to, or there are a lot of different ways to make biochar. You can make it on a massive industrial level with huge machines. Um, this is just one of the many ways to make it. So uh, let's throw everything in there. Everything we have here can all be put in. So yeah. I want to see the smell of this on top. <laughs> No one wants to touch the urine like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's sterile. <laughs> the urine of former Free Haven volunteers from like a year and a half ago. We'll make some of the half a year ago. In about two weeks, this will oh, be ready to use. We'll so absorb as much of the nutrients. The liquid is a great fertilizer. The liquid we're going to use first on stuff. Once the liquid's mostly gone, we'll start throwing the solids in. This is hard to shovel, it's a pain in the ass to shovel out the solids when the liquids are filling in. Do you want all the solids? If, Human yeah. You could, for example, you could blend up ice cream bean leaves, just a whole bunch of batches of ice cream leaves in the blender, and pour that in. It's just like liquid green nitrogen. What about humanure? Yeah. Eh, I wouldn't put that, it'd just be stinky. Oh, <laughs> if it's vegetarian. <laughs> it still would be nasty. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. And also, human manure isn't as high in nitrogen. Oh, really? If you're going to put manure in, it's got to be high in nitrogen manure, like chicken manure, horse manure, cow manure, yeah. rabbit manure, guinea pig manure, duck manure. Okay. That's everything, right? Mm -hmm. well, Alright, who's going to mix it? it? Oh, yeah, that's probably better. <laughs> All mixed up in there. I'm gonna splash it. <laughs> Twice a day, preferably. Grab a stick and just kind of start it around a little bit. It's the, the water, water down, uh, it's in the area. Yeah. There's a lot of area in between the trouble. No, the zinc sulfate we have to with the magnesium sulfate and form the one megaton explosion. <laughs> Level all the food in. <laughs> That's why we don't make fire anymore. <laughs> Keep mixing, boy. <laughs> if, we have, if we made a nice charcoal retort, we could uh, make our own charcoal. And, uh, drum. You can also make yeah, it by digging a hole in the ground, filling with wood, covering it with dirt, and letting it fire underneath. But Metal drum is what I saw online. I did it before this in the camp. Yeah. I didn't have to cover it with dirt. But you get like the most.